Welcome to the first HTML tutorial. Uh, to start, I'll just give you an idea of what we're working on. It's a Mac computer using OS X 10.6 or Snow Leopard. And then the two programs we're going to be using are Safari as the main browser and Smoltron as the main editor, which you can download for free off the internet. Um, we'll begin by setting up the environment. Just click on Smoltron, it'll run. And what we want to do is we want to set up the screen so we can easily switch between the editor which is Smoltron, and the browser, which we're going to be viewing in, which is Safari. So I'm just going to move this off to the side just a touch here. And then I'm going to open up Safari. And I'll do the same thing, but I'm going to move it up higher. So by doing this, what I can do is I can switch between the editor and the browser just by clicking between the two windows. I like setting it up this way. So anyway, let's begin. Just to begin, we are te teaching basic web page writing, which is HTML, which is hypertext markup language. And I'm going to be conforming to the XHTML standards, which makes things a little bit clearer, a little bit less ambiguity. So we'll begin by typing in the tags. Um, and a tag is identified by angular brackets. And the first tag of every web page is going to be HTML, or hypertext markup language. Okay? After we type in HTML, which is an opening tag, there's typically a closing tag. In fact, most tags have an opening and closing tag. And the way we do this is we type in slash HTML. And so there's the opening and closing tags. And so typically, HTML will be the opening tag of the web page and slash HTML will be the closing tag of every web page. These will be slightly different in more sophisticated pages, but that's sort of a general rule you can follow. Okay? At the beginning of every web page, we have what's called a header, and that is determined by a tag head. And again, if we have an opening tag, we also have a closing tag. And it's wise to always type in the closing tag immediately typing the opening tag, immediately following the typing of the opening tag. Now for now, when we're just starting out, we're going to type in only one item in the header, which is the title. Okay, so I put in the opening tag, and then immediately I'll type in the closing tag. Okay. Now the interesting thing is, if we viewed this right now, since these are tags, anything in angular brackets is a tag, you'll actually see nothing on screen and nothing will actually happen because what the browser does when it reads a tag, anything in angular brackets, it does what's called interprets it and interprets it and, and the tag tells it what to do. Only when you type something in between tags does it actually do something on screen. So right here I'm just going to type in um, some text that I want you to type in as well and I just want you to type in your name and since it's for my students I'm going to put in Mr. Fuges first web page. At this point, so now we have some text between tags, I'm going to get you to save this. And you can just save it simply to your desktop if you like. And I just want you to call it your first name dot htm. And we're using dot htm instead of dot html simply because on really old servers sometimes they actually only allow three character extensions. And if it only allows a three character extension and you transfer a file through one of these older servers, it could actually cut off the last letter, which will break all the links if you're pointing to a file that's .html and it changes the file name to .htm. So as a general rule, always type in .htm. So once I save this file, watch what happens to the tags. Let's go what Smoltron does. Okay? It automatically changes the tags to blue, helping you out to see which are tags and which is text. Now to view this page, we just go to our browser, okay, click File, Open File, and then find the file, which is here on our desktop. And can't see that open tag, so let's just bring it back in here. Click Open. And you'll notice there's nothing on screen. Where is that text we typed in the title? It's right up here on the title tag, on the title of the window. Now, why is it important? Well, anything that appears between the title tags is also placed in if you bookmark something. So it's really important to make sure you put in something meaningful between the title tags, just to make it easier for anyone who wants to revisit your page. Okay, now we're just gonna switch back and we'll continue.
Okay, inside the main part of a web page, and just like any essay you might type, is the body. Okay, and again, if we type the opening tag, we immediately want to type in the closing tag. There we go. And now, anything we type in here is going to actually appear on the page. So let's type in some text. First web site, just to differentiate from the title. And then I'm just going to put in the date. Gives you an idea when I'm doing this. <laughs> anyway, we're going to save this and then view it. And you can see all we want to appear is these two lines. So I go here, and then on Safari, the reload button is right here. So if I click this, reload, there's my text. Except what happened here? It's not on two lines. Now this is an indicator of how HTML works. Because the text was just typed straight, and there was nothing to indicate to go to the next line, it just puts everything onto a single line. If we actually want to go to the second line, we have to put in a tag. In this case, the tag is going to be the first self-closing tag that you have. In other words, it does not have a closing tag. Um, and it's called the line break. And it's BR. And then you just put a slash to indicate that this is a self-closing tag. Okay, so I click Save. Go back to here. And reload. And it goes to the second line. Okay. At this point, I'm just going to stop the, the first section of the tutorial just so that the video doesn't get too long. And you can go to the second one.